weather for a flight out of Nice, Côte d'Azur, don't you think? We're on runway 22 left, and we're cleared for takeoff. Taking off in an A320 obviously requires more speed and a longer runway than a single-engine prop plane. But luckily, we have some extra tools at our disposal to make the job a little easier once we're airborne. For starters, the autothrust manages engine power to maintain a target airspeed. Autopilot will keep us on track with navigation. And the fly-by-wire system lets us maintain a consistent attitude without needing to make constant adjustments. When I give the word, you're going to execute a straight-out takeoff. After you complete the initial climb, I'll take the controls. But first, check the MCDU for our reference speeds. I already typed in today's numbers. The rotation speed, VR, is 131 knots. I'll call out when we reach it. Take a look at the PFD now. Then, once we hit VR, you just need to begin a gentle rotation by pulling back on the side stick. Don't exceed 10 degrees until you've lifted off. Next, let's review the thrust levers. We need to be aware of three different detents. Use the climb detent, labeled CL on your throttle, to automatically manage the thrust for the remainder of the flight. Toga, to take off at full power on short runways or when performing a go-around. And for today, FLX MCT for a reduced thrust takeoff. We reduce thrust at takeoff to preserve our engine life and save fuel. Now let's monitor the engine parameters. As you can see on the engine warning and system display, I applied the parking brakes earlier. Okay, we're ready to go. Apply half forward side stick. Then move both thrust levers gently forward to 50% and 1. Then move them to the flex detent. Okay, now the auto thrust is armed. Use the rudder to keep us on the center line. 80. Rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Engage autopilot. Autopilot can either be engaged 5 seconds or 100 feet after takeoff to manage heading and altitude. The FMA is showing lever climb, which means we've reached thrust reduction altitude. Adjust the thrust levers to climb detent. Now we're in the climb detent. Auto thrust is active and will manage airspeed by adjusting the power. At S speed, retract flaps to zero. Disarm ground spoilers.